Imagine you are managing a large team as a team leader and you manually manage tasks and assign tasks to your team member. Later, you adopt Microsoft Planner to streamline the task assignment process. However, some tasks are repetitive that you need to add it to planner every time. So you feel confused whether to add every time or is there any automatic process which can add some repetitive task in planner. To solve this your problem, you can automate this repetitive task using Power Automate. So today in this video, I will tell you how you can create task in planner using Microsoft Power Automate. Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. I welcome you all to Power Automate tutorial. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. So first, you will learn why planner is required and second thing, you will learn how to automate task creation using Power Automate in Planner. So without delay, let's get started. Now first of all, let me tell you why planner is required. A planner is required to organize task assign responsibility and track progress efficiently with the team. So that's why planner is required. Now let me tell you the second thing, how you can automate task creation using Power Automate in planner that will help you to create some repetitive task. So let me show you practically. So first of all, you need to log in into your Microsoft Power Automate account. And you also need to log in in your Microsoft Planner. I have already logged in in my Microsoft Planner and you can see that I have new plan, hub and assigned to me menu. So if you do not have created any plan, then in that case you need to create a plan. So I have created one plan that is this is test plan and if you open that here you can see that to do is a default bucket. Bucket means what you want to keep as a heading of your task. So by default in planner to do is a default bucket. You can add new bucket like done task. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to add here task automatically using Power Automate. So here, let's say I am doing recording and I am also managing my team's member recording of YouTube video. So every 15 day, I need to add a task to record this much topic or to record on this technology. So rather to add it manually, I will create a flow that will execute every 15 day and create a task for team member as well as for me. So for that, as I told you, you need to log in into your Power Automate account and you need to click on create. After that, you need to create a flow that will run automatically at given time. So for that, I will use schedule cloud flow and I'm giving a name as a test or you can say planner task creation. Okay. And I want to execute this task from today itself or let's say every 11 a.m. it will add task at every 15 days. So let me set the time. Uh, let's say here I'm setting the time as 11 a.m. And I don't want to repeat this flow in every minute, but I want to repeat this flow every uh, month, not uh, 15 days. And let's say one month, every one month I want to repeat. Okay, if you just select days here, then you can uh, write 15 days. So every 15 day, it will create a automate task in planner. So you can keep one month, you can keep 15 days as per your requirement. And then you need to click on create. So here you can see that that reoccurrence is uh, created automatically. If you double click on it, you can see the interval and what will be the time zone. You can see that and which minute it will execute. Let's say at every 11.30 or every 11.15 am it want, I, I want to execute. 
so you can set the minute but i am not setting at exact 11 am i want to execute at my default time zone so it will execute that, like that okay then after you need to add an action which will add task in microsoft planner so for that you need to click on plus sign and you need to allow that to uh, add an action and everything okay so click on add an action then from that action search for planner then here click on the planner and here you need to select the create a task then you can select a group id under which you want to select your task so if you click on that you will see the group now here in microsoft planner i have created a plan this is test plan so under that i want to create a task so for that from the drop down list i am selecting this is test plan it will show the group which is available in my login so this much groups are available so from that i am selecting this is the test plan now plan id which plan id you want to select so here my plan id is a same name so here you can select this this is test plan now what can be the title you want to give of the task so let's say here create or record video on uh, let's say uh, automate okay and here you can see the advanced parameter so here you can see then in which bucket you want to uh, set the task so my bucket id is to do so if you just uh, select a drop down list here you will see the to do here i have created one bucket for done task so you can uh, select that but i want to add task in my to do bucket so you need to select that now what can be the start time what can be the end date so let's say start time is date which the task is created so you can mention the manual date or you can assign the dynamic date at which the task is created so for that you need to click on this sign and here you can add an expression like uh, clicking on fx and here you can write utc now so it will select the current date and time of the server when the task is created okay so that's the uh, it now this is the start date now next thing is you need to set the due date so due date means at which time you need to complete a task so i need to complete a task within a 5 days or i am giving a deadline of 5 days so what you can do you can click on this fx and uh, you want to add 5 days from the current or creation date so for that you can select add days and you need to select in which you want to add day so you to see now you need to select and from the creation date you need to add 5 days so you can select uh, write a comma and then write a 5 so that means uh, let's say if today is a 23 October so after 5 day is a due date for creating a task so here your task is created let me just save it and here also you can assign a different color of a task so let's say here let me click on again show all and I want to create a task in a uh, or you can say I want to create a task in red color so you can just click on yes so you know red color is showing an important thing so you can select that and you can also set the priority so one priority uh, means highest immediate basis you need to do so one two three and four this different types of priority you can set so I want to create task on urgent basis so you can set the priority one and then again click on save so your task is created and here are the properties of the task now see that when you are creating any task manually let's say test task and if you uh, click on add task it will be added and once you double click on it here you will see let me just double click again and here you will see the different option what can be the due date what can be the start date what can be the progress task priority and rest of the things but here when you are creating a task 
using a power automate you are not allowed to uh, add the checklist information and so on so whatever task is created also with that you want to add a description of the task as well as you want to add a checklist of the task so for that you need to add one more action that is called update task list so for that you need to add one more action that is called update task detail so click on the plus sign and click on add an action and search for the update task detail and here in planner if you click on see more and here you will see the update task detail so select that and here you will see the which task you want to update so i want to update a task which is created just before that action so if you just click on that here you will see the existing task in your planner but i don't want to update the task detail of existing task i want to create or i want to update the task which is just create created before the uh, previous step so here you need to click on enter custom value here you can see that this option is not properly visible so let me save that and switch to the old designer the reason is that uh, when we are uh, using the new designer so some of the options are not working properly or the design is not working properly so let me just switch on or switch off to the new designer sorry all the designer so click on save and switch so here it is just generating an error because i did not mention anything so let me just delete it and then i will add it in a old designer again so let me switch to old designer whenever you are switching make sure that whatever task you have added or whatever action you have added it should be saved otherwise it will not work properly so again click on new step and search for planner here you know when i was created that update action uh, uh, or update task detail action so you know i need to set the parameter so when i switch on it is just generating an error so i just delete and uh, created again so let me just click on planner and here search for the update task detail so here you can see that so double click on that and here you need to select the uh, id which uh, is uh, created before that action so here you can uh, select custom value and from the custom value you need to search for id and here this id is indicating the task which is created using that previous action so select that here you can add the description of the task so here i am adding the description that this is test task which is created by krupali and uh, you need to complete it you need to complete it complete it you can add anything in the description now if you want to add any reference let's say here i want to add reference let me just show you so here you can add attachment as a reference you can add comments and checklist and notes so here you can add reference you can add checklist so let's say checklist is camera uh, checklist and check the camera camera uh, card space then uh, let's say it is checked or not so i am just uh, writing no why because whenever i am creating task for others so they need to check or uncheck so i am clicking it no so let me just click on save and here when i execute a task you will see that in planner in to do list let me just close this in to do list one task will automatically created and the task name will be let me just show you okay the task name will be this is the test plan or create record a video okay this can be the title of the task so let's test it so i'm testing it manually otherwise i need to wait until 11 so i'm testing it manually so click on that oh my flow failed let me see what happened here flow fail at the update detail and let me see path cannot be null or empty or white space so maybe i did something wrong so let me just go to the task again and here maybe i forget to mention something so let me just create yes again 
and click on save or let's say here this is the description in reference section i am adding let's say uh, reference one and reference resources let's say http www.google.com and reference type let's say uh, other okay and let me in, uh, enter a valid url let's say here know how academy let me just search for the website know how academy so that reference i want to add it so i need to copy that and let me go to that and edit properly okay so i did it very well click on save and then i will test it again okay uh, let me make sure that everything here is set properly okay here these things are done let me test it manually paste and run flow and then again my flow fail here it is saying that you know i just uh, forget the mention to some checklist is checked true or not so let me just remove the reference which i have added uh, not added but this camera let me just remove that i don't want to add that okay let me save it and test it again so here you can see that my flow runs successfully maybe you know i have mentioned something uh, wrong in a uh, reference not reference but uh, in checklist so it will it is not allowing me so let me go to the my planner page uh, so here you can see that task is created with the red why because i mark it as important and if you just click on that here you will see the start date and the due date automatically you know start date after uh, sorry automatically you can see that due date is set to five days after the start date and uh, here priority is urgent why because i mentioned one and here you can see the notes is added in a comment section and reference is also added so this way you can create a task in planner using power automate before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video so first you have learned why planner is required and second thing you learn how you can create tasks using power automate in microsoft planner thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out to us stay curious keep learning